Welcome to System Dynamics Online Tutorials. In this session we're going to cover a, a few of the particular uh, applications that allow Dynamic 3i um, from a server perspective to be opened up to um, your customers and vendors um, dropped from your website. Um, you can actually, uh, this is uh, showing the applications as they would uh, or could appear on a, on a website. Uh, as far as Dynamic 3i are concerned, we basically have uh, a customer and vendor and employee ability to get into the system. Um, we have a customer registration and a vendor registration, um, as well as uh, um, um, the customer login and vendor login, which are exactly the same as far as functionality is concerned. Uh, the only thing being that once in Dynamic 3i, the system automatically sets it up as a customer or it sets the ID up as a as a vendor. Um, other um, applications that can be dropped from a website to interface with Dynamic 3i is uh, items that are actually for sale uh, externally from the company to allow customers to actually come in and do order entry themselves uh, as well as uh, to view uh, given purchases uh, from a vendor perspective out on the website to see what's uh, what the company is putting out to tender uh, as well as uh, also taking care of um, human resources and putting out uh, employment opportunities um, to the to the website to allow uh, job positions to be posted etc to to a website and allow system to to be integrated with dynamic 3i human resources um, the employee uh, we have a suite uh, of specific applications that allow the uh, sales reps to be set up um, to input their expenses from um, from th that perspective and do forecasting uh, on the fly on the road uh, as well as do uh, sales call and lost sales entries, etc., from an external uh, um, location um, with an internet connection into Dynamic 3i, should it be set up that way. So these particular applications, I'm going to cover the uh, vendor and customer login and registration, etc., and then show the uh, the menus as would be displayed uh, for the given um, application. Uh, applications that would be accessible by a given vendor or customer. If we go to the um, customer login, we are presented with a login screen which uh, basically asks for the customer ID that I've been assigned or that I've been registered to from the system or a valid email address which is also the unique identifier to, uh, to the customer coming into the system. It'll ask me for a password and from this point I can actually register as a new customer to allow uh, new customers to be set up on the system automatically by based on the information that they provide uh, to my application. Vendor registration is a, uh, and login is exactly the same. If we look at the vendor login, uh, you'll note uh, not too much difference as far as the vendor login is concerned. It asks me for the ID, uh, a valid uh, and single email address, password, and whether I can log in, as well as being able to register as a new vendor to gain access to the system. The uh, registration um, applications dropped off this particular site uh, basically go directly to the customer and vendor registration uh, as per the buttons on the customer and login, uh, vendor login applications. Uh, to actually set one up um, we could do the customer registration or the customer login and then do the regi go to the registration we're presented with a form and as far as customers and vendors are concerned it's all the same set of information I'm either setting myself up on Dynamic 3i as a customer or I'm setting myself up as a vendor in which case uh, vendor I'd probably set up as a business uh, customer I'd set up as an individual but could be a business as well uh, I basically in, in this setting up of a customer I set myself up uh, with mandatory, uh, certain mandatory information that's required by Dynamic 3i in order to set up a valid customer will be denoted by these asterisks here so I must put those fields in or the system will continually ask me for that suite of, uh, suite of that information. Um, I set myself up uh, to operate from a given country uh, using a pull down menu here um, from whatever country I'm, I'm coming at into and that has to do with taxations as well as from an order entry perspective uh, it sets me up uh, in Dynamic 3i a certain uh, distribution where, out, outlet 
that would service that customer. So on a multifaceted company where I have multiple locations and distributions areas, somebody from uh, registering as a customer from UK would automatically, based on Dynamic 3i and in, internally set up, be distributed from my UK uh, distribution point and be assigned that particular warehouse in case they happen to put in orders. Also, they would be governed by the taxation and currency based on that particular country, etc., etc., through Dynamic 3i. Um, so this is uh, becomes very important from setting up a customer perspective. As far as the email address is concerned, this is unique. The system will not allow two customers to have the same address number, email address. So that actually comes into play as far as an individual is being set up. Um, I can actually enter in an email address uh, here. I'm going to use a generic one so that I can s I can show you what happens. Set up a uh, email address. Put in uh, a first name I'll, or last name. I'll put mine. Uh, mandatory. And then the um, first name. I'll use mine again here. The address, uh, which is mandatory. And if I happen to, uh, I know the city, it's mandatory. And then from there, the system will show me the valid provinces within the country. And then if I happen to know the postal code, but it's not mandatory, but I, I do know it. And then the system will ask me for a uh, a password to identify myself so that after registration I can actually log into the system. Uh, it's encrypted so both on uh, choosing of the password and confirming of the password um, there's encryption there so you don't have to worry about anybody being seen as well as login uh, it will be encrypted. So we choose a password and confirm that and at any point in time if I wanted to reset by resetting, all of this will be cleared out, presented back just as if I came into it at the first point in time. If I hit the back button, um, that's an exit. It, it will automatically go back to the website of where it was called from. Uh, accepting the information, the system will process it and actually assign on Dynamic 3i a customer ID. Uh, here I've been returned uh, customer ID 141. I have to keep in mind my password that I've chosen, so now I'm linked with that password and that uh, customer ID, as well as this email address. Uh, at the same time, an email uh, has gone out to this address confirming my ID, so the customer gets instant feedback as to his email address, the customer ID, as well as his password that he's chosen to gain access to the system and that's really all there is to uh, setting up the customer. Vendor information is exactly the same and when we actually go back um, to to the website and go into the vendor registration it's all the same information that would be set up. The only difference being that I'm actually set up on Dynamic 3i as being a vendor as opposed to being a customer. Uh, all the information is uh, the same. A vendor code would appear here and be emailed to the given vendor giving him the uh, vendor code as well as his password uh, as confirmation as to his registration. We can actually now uh, just go. Uh, I will use my generic um, Hotmail account. to show you the uh, registration of that given customer. <coughs> 